For StreamYard users, the brand tab is where we pick our colors, choose from a limited amount of themes, add your logo. Then the most used area is overlays, videos, and backgrounds. We use those every show. <laughs> In a recent update, they've added a preview area at the top, which now combines camera shape, display name slash headlines, theme, and brand color. Once these are selected, most don't use them regularly, so tucking them away is helpful. To see exactly how this works and to discuss what they're making room for, join me for the full video. So here we are in StreamYard and we're inside one of my studios. I call it test room. In fact, I'm on my default brand. Now, I wanna showcase something here. The brands that you've created are all here. And for those that are brand new, your brands are basically kind of like your show assets for each show. So your brands could easily be called shows. And so you, just as an example, you'll see here, I have one for a client. He's got a show called Let's Talk Money. If I switch to that, you'll see all the overlays and graphics and basically all my branding changes. These are things that I'm gonna regularly need every time I do a show for this particular client. So that's why this brand uh, dropdown list is critical. Here's yet another, just as a another example, financial legacy, an another set of uh, overlays and graphics that you could use videos as well for this particular client for this particular show now for some of you may not have clients but you may have individual shows so like me i have a show uh that is my default show right and that is the how it all works show and so that's the one that i've got on screen right now now that we're back in the default show um the brand tab is basically everything that we talked about logos overlays You've got your video clips, you have backgrounds as well. You, you also have background music. All of that is in the brand tab. And if the tabs are on the, on the right side of the screen here. You have comments, banners, uh, private chat, recording, but then brand is where most of us hang our hats because that's what you utilize the most during a live show. What they've done is if added this piece here at the top, which we mentioned in the lead in, this preview piece and you can kind of take a look just in a default setting of this is what it, it will look like um so when you click on edit you'll see that you have your ready to use combinations from Streamyard. so you have this one which is kind of the standard 16 by 9 you have the round one and as you click through them if you have a camera um already added to the stage which I do now, you can see that I am, it's changing them as we go along. Now, the only challenge is that you do want to make sure that you have your brand color selected. So, or at least if you don't have it selected, you have, you know what your numbers are because it will change your brand color. Um, if you've already previously said that. So mine is five, eight, zero, nine, a B. When I hit that, you can see that that takes effect. Now I don't have my display name on, but now that I do, you can see that as I cycle through these, it is changing. Now there are some that will not change in terms of the color. They will stay with whatever is already selected in terms of the combination. But this one that's at the front that will take on the, the colors that you have set, um, depending on which one you go through. So let's say you want the circle one. All right, well, you're gonna have to go there and actually change it to your color, 5809 AB, all right? And hit the enter button and it's gonna change the color for you. Maybe you want the standard one, okay? Well, you're gonna have to go 5809 AB and hit the enter button and it will change it for you, change it on that uh, setting as well. You can change it to bubble, you can change your theme to classic, minimal or block, Again, these are set it and forget it type features. You can change your display name and headlines. And this is the only point where I thought, man, maybe this needs to be out because I don't necessarily keep my uh, display name and headline on the entire show. So this is something I'm constantly turning on and off as you would with any broadcast. You wouldn't necessarily have the lower third up the entire time. 
Um, but then there are other ways to get around this with uh, overlays that you create yourself and bring into StreamYard uh, maybe as a transparent and you can put that in the overlay section and you also get a chance to select your default camera shape your default camera shape so you have wide you have square and then you have circle so you really can kind of you know go with the combination or you can kind of build your own and once you have it built you can just move back into your regular brand settings and you're good to go uh, they did post about it. You can find the announcement on their YouTube page under their community tab, which kind of seems to be uh, where they're doing a lot of their releases and function updates. Um, instead of doing the, the weekly town hall, you just kind of have to pay attention to what they've got going on on this page. So definitely check out the StreamYard community tab and you'll see uh, this post is here talking about some of the different pieces that they've combined. And they do want your input and feedback in terms of uh, how you are liking uh, these new features. This guy, Eric, says, hopefully this won't cost $20 more monthly. <laughs> Mercy. They're getting killed on that pricing update. Um, in addition to what they've added here and uh, for the combinations, also on that same community page, you'll see that they have a, another update. This was from two weeks ago at the time that I'm recording this video. This update is two weeks old and they say, we're working on a new feature, scenes. We're working on a new feature, scenes. And so I wanted to showcase here, this update about the combinations is only 10 days old, whereas the scenes update is two weeks old. So I believe that these are building on one another. I believe that they moved these updates or these branding features that are seldom used into this other category because they're making space for this new uh, update, which will be scenes. And this was this is going to be a massive update, a long awaited update. Uh, scenes is a new feature we've been working on for quite some time now. While it's still a work in progress, here's what we have in mind and how it would work. I just want to keep that in mind. Combine layouts, overlays, and banners to create custom scenes to be used during your broadcasts and recordings. You can assign participants and shared media to specific slots within each scene. This is how we know scenes to work from many of their competitors. I personally use Ecamm for everything that I record, everything that I stream, I'm using Ecamm right now to do this video. Uh, and Scenes very much operates and functions in that way. Although, because it's a tier three platform, we have a myriad of more functionality and features. And they've been doing it longer. So this is a good first stab at it from, from StreamYard. Um, assign participants and shared media to specific slots within each scene. Uh, bring everything that's part of a scene on stage with just one tap. No need to add or remove each item individually and no awkward transitions. This is broadcast. This is it. This is one of the reasons why I had to go seeking for another uh, platform because I needed that seamless uh, transition from one scene to another scene. So I'm glad to see StreamYard is moving in this direction. It's taken a while, <laughs> but uh, being able to give people that level of functionality so you don't see these overlays going on and off screen and that that can be a little less um, in terms of your quality for your production quality and production uh, um, streams. You want to make sure that you can go from one scene to the next without having people see see that stuff. Uh, with that said, we're eager, eager to hear what you think is what they're saying. <laughs> we're still fine tuning the overall feature design. So this is the perfect moment to share your thoughts to influence the final result. In particular, we're curious to hear what are your initial impressions? How would you use it? What else should we include to make it great? So I don't know if StreamYard is going to see this video. I hope that they do. But I would say, uh, number one, the, the, the scenes feature is definitely something that is needed. Uh, one of the things that they definitely want to include is, especially if you have a video, can that video, when it finishes, go to the next scene automatically? That is a great feature uh, to, to include. Uh, if you have scenes that have already been designed, can you assign a particular guest, I'd say guest one or guest two, to a particular scene so that when you go to them, you already have that guest preloaded in that scene? 
Those are things that would be really, really helpful and useful as people begin to, to utilize these scene features. Another quick note is that it seems this is the way, uh, this is kind of the replacement, as I mentioned before, for the uh, town hall. The town hall used to be the place where we, they would kind of share with us. This is something that's on the roadmap and we're interested in hearing your thoughts and reactions and some of the things that you'd like to see out of that feature. But now we're getting it in this way. And so, you know, it's not quite the same, but it is still a way that they're opening up the conversation to the broader community. For those of you who are still rocking with StreamYard, you definitely want to make sure you're checking out this page. Competitors, EVMux, and Restream have already made scenes available on their platforms. So this is a natural step for StreamYard, but how they implement it will be interesting to see. And you can plan on me putting out a video to cover it. <laughs> be sure to subscribe so you're notified when that video becomes available. Combinations is the latest in a string of feature and plant updates from StreamYard. In this video right here, I cover the previous five features in great detail. Uh, all the five features that they came out with since the product updates uh, in, that included some plan in updates and price uh, increases. Uh, click right here to watch and I'll see you right over there. <laughs> Grace and peace, fam.